Welcome back. It's time for a rave review. Now, I can't believe it. Are you guys ready for this? The ladies of Selling Sunset are back for season seven on Netflix this Friday. Now, you remember, I started covering the show with season one, got to interview all the stars on the red carpet at the Real TV Critics' Choice Awards. Uh, they have all evolved so much from season one. It's kind of fun to watch season one and then watch season seven this Friday. New ladies, new real estate, new offices even, and even a spinoff show. So who will be the villain of this season? Who's getting along? Who's fighting? Will there ever be peace in the office at the Oppenheim Group? Well, I doubt it, because it's a reality show, so they need some drama. So here, take a look at the season seven trailer. Namaste. To peace in the office. <laughs> Namaste out of everybody's business. <laughs> The gloves are probably going to come off. I will really show who's a top agent and who's not. The other girls, they need to get on my level. Fire! My blisting is 22 million. Oh, wow. Stunning. This is the best bathroom I've ever seen. Can I get the number to whoever did this? <laughs> things are moving pretty slow in the market right now. We have to work harder. Buckle up, because things are changing. We have a $100 million house here. We got a sale, baby. Yeah! Does anybody want to? You just pulled a Cheeto out of oh your God. Birkin bag. Can I ask, can you turn around? Yes, yes. If Jason would allow me to come to the office in a diamond bra, I totally would. So we're at Crescello's? We're all here at dinner, two empty chairs. It's a little ridiculous. She thought I should have been there. It felt like not my friend talking to me. At the end of the day, the only thing I want is peace. If you really want to win, win, put your money on me, babe. Okay. So I've watched season seven. It comes out. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but lots of surprises this season. Brie is so out there and kind of out of control. She gets on my nerves. She's the one who has a baby by Nick Cannon, host of The Mass Singer tonight, just letting you know. Uh, Jason and Chrishell have broken up. They both moved on from their relationships, but yet they want their new people to be friends with their new people. Like, when do you ever want your exes to be friends with your new person? Like, to me, that doesn't even make sense. I know you're working together, but you don't have to make your new partners friends with each other. That just doesn't even make sense. And anyway, I'll say this about Chriselle. If you go back and watch season one and then see her evolution, I'm glad she's found her voice. She just doesn't seem like herself this season, season seven. She's very combative. She does have an issue that you'll see on season seven that she says has triggered her, which I totally get. I just love the Chriselle that we know and love who's kind and just like, okay, but again, I get it. It's a reality show. She has to defend herself and her loved ones. I get that. But it's just so crazy. The real estate's over the top. Um, again, I think Brie is kind of the villain this season. Again, they always since Christine Quinn left, you need to have that combative. But a lot of people are actually combative this season. So that's something to think about when you're watching season seven. But I do recommend watch season one just for fun before you watch season seven, just to see the evolution of the show and how crazy it is. And again, the spinoff show, Selling the OC, it's kind of crazy to think about this huge uh, empire the Oppenheim brothers have created. So that comes out on Friday on Netflix. Okay, up next, the Real Housewives of Miami are back tonight on Bravo for season six. Now, this season will deal with the divorce of Lisa and her, I think, getting kicked out of the mansion and Gertie's breast cancer diagnosis. You know, if you've been following her on social, she has breast cancer, she's fighting, she's doing great. Now, I never watched this show originally years ago on Bravo. It was on, then it got canceled, they brought it back streaming, but now it's back on Bravo, and I love me some Housewives. I started watching the reboot, and I'm telling you, I love these spicy ladies. They're full of fire and passion, and I love them. Take a look at this cut down trailer. This season on The Real Housewives of Miami. <laughs> This unit is how much? This is 6.9. To everyone else in the world, that is a lot of money. But not for Miami. I don't know what I did to deserve this. The last treatment was three days ago, and not a peep out of you. You forgot. I'm gonna just say it. I have cancer. I have breast cancer. It's time for us to be there for you. You will have it for all of us next to you. You okay? I told her. She's denying I told her. Pathological liar. You lie about everything. You gotta stop. Okay? You, you gotta stop saying that because you're wrong. You're lying about everything. Get out. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios. Pray for us sinners. Amen. 
Guys, that is tonight. This is what's crazy. So you're going to see all of that. I love Gertie. I love Martina Navratilova, tennis great, going through her own canceled journey. Julia trying to sing, uh, uh, cancer journey, I'm sorry. And then Julia trying to sing opera. That's just comedy right there. Now, if you love the housewives like I do, this is what's crazy. This is your season because uh, here we go, Miami tonight. Last week, Beverly Hills premiered, and that's going to deal with Mauricio and Kyle and all the drama with Beverly Hills. So we've got Beverly Hills premiered last week. Tonight, Miami, and then guess what premieres on Sunday? Real Housewives of Potomac coming in strong on Sunday nights. That's three franchises going on at the same time. So if you are a huge fan of the Housewives, this is your time. The, the November, December, January, all Real Housewives all the time. Follow the journeys and the drama. So that's all on Bravo. Uh, okay, and finally, a show. Okay, if I was going to be on a reality show, it would be this one. Wipeout. Do you remember the show Wipeout? It's on TBS. John Cena, Nicole Byer, and Camille Kostek are back for another season. All the falls, the hits, the misses, the fun, the giant obstacle course. This is something I want to do. I don't know if my body could handle it because I might get knocked off and never get back up. But it looks so much fun. Take a look at this season two trailer on TBS. Seen in the Cole Buyer and Camille Costic host, the TBS original Wipeout. New season premieres November 7th on TBS. Guys, that's coming up next Tuesday. Maddie just said, too, that's the show she'd want to do. I wish we could get on the show or set up our own obstacle course because it's amazing. So, Wipeout, and I love Nicole Byer. She's awesome. Also, don't forget a brand new Mass Singer tonight. Four new characters are being debuted tonight on Mass Singer. Another snake oil. You don't want to miss it. I already have predictions for tonight's episode. I'm so excited for you to see it. Don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM coming up right after this.